I'm Rebecca Bell Metero, and I teach at Texas State University. I run the media studies minor. It's a minor that I developed. And I've had a history in education ever since I was 23 years old and went off to the Peace Corps to teach in Chad, one of the 10 poorest countries in the world. They gave us excellent training, and it was based on scientific research about how to teach a second language. That's something that was taught by the military, and it's something that I remembered in all of my subsequent years of teaching. We are at a very important path where we are able to choose between science and superstition. We're able to distinguish between custom and what actually has been proven by research. Don't you feel like when you hear this rain and you think about how many floods there were in the Midwest, how many people weren't able to plant their crops, or you think about Australia on fire, don't you think, gee, wouldn't the scientists have something to say about this? But we've been failing our students because we don't have a decent curriculum. People have been trying, but that State Board of Education has made bad decisions every step of the way. They also don't seem to understand the concept of peer-reviewed research. They don't understand what subject area experts are. Now, we have a moment here where we can actually make a difference. One in 10 school children in the United States is educated in Texas. There's the old saying that the way Texas goes, the rest of the nation goes. And that's the truth, because we have such a huge influence on those textbooks. Publishers come because they want to make money by the textbooks that we tell students to buy we have an opportunity to change the face of Texas and thereby change the face of the world. We don't have that many years left to try to rescue our environment. And if we don't take action now, if we don't have a vision now, we're not going to live in the kind of world we want for our children and our grandchildren. Half of the animals in Australia have died during this last fire. And anybody who tries to tell you, oh, there are just cycles, you tell them, yes, we're in the midst of a great extinction right now. There have been four great extinctions before that were caused by global warming. And then there was one that was caused by an asteroid that knocked out the dinosaurs. But we have a geological record to show us this. We have to use our scientific knowledge and our ability to cooperate. In the schools in Texas, we could change the attitudes of our population within one short generation. We could change it within about that 10 year window. Now you would say, why should I be the one to do that? I have had faith in education all of my life, and I've seen it worn out. When I went and taught English in Chad, the people who taught with their training from the Peace Corps were able to have the best results because we had the best training. When I came to San Marcos, I got involved here in getting recycling, because I thought this city needs recycling. Then I got involved in a bond commission where we built a library. And if you drive along and you see bicycle lanes, I was able to make that commission put bicycle lanes on the list, even though they didn't want to. I talked and talked and I brought my research and they changed their minds. I was also on planning and zoning and I managed to resist veterans who wanted to have a big, huge parking lot for their monument, but I said, no, it's going to hurt the river. I will stand up for what I believe, but I will argue in a way that includes people and that convinces them. Because I teach and I offer to do this 
truly out of love. It's not a paid position. It's not a very glamorous or, glamorous or exciting position, but I wanna change that board so that when people come from all around the state, they are given their three minutes and that the board members should not be sitting there jawing on and on about what they think about this and that. That's the time for the citizens of Texas. And I will reach out to each one of my fellow board members and win their hearts and their minds. I love to research. I've written four books, dozens and dozens of articles, and I've been teaching. I know what the students need because I see as they come into the classrooms what they don't know. And they'll ask me, why didn't we learn that in our public school? And I'll say, well, there's this thing called the State Board of Education. I want to be on that Board of Education. And we have a chance this time to alter Texas. Now, if you really believe in education, you'll pay attention to this race. I've had experience getting things done. I created a media studies minor. I created a residential college with some other colleagues. And I've also worked as a special assistant to the president at Texas State University, working on retention. And we improved our retention rates by about six or seven percentage points, which is a huge amount. I was able to get things done at Texas State. And when I created the media studies minor, we now have one of the strongest programs in liberal arts. I have a vision and I am here to work hard to get to that board. And I've been working on it for 10 years and each time I've improved. I lost by 24%, 24 percentage points. Then I went down to eight. And then on the last section, election, I went to four. With that trajectory, we're gonna win. We're gonna win, and we're gonna win because I have the energy, the experience, and the vision, and I'm a teacher, and I'm doing it for love, not just of the students and teachers in Texas, but for my parents, who would be so proud to see me doing this now. They loved education, and I was raised to love education. So go to voterebecca.com, check out what I say. You can find many more details about the wonderfulness of me and uh, I'm doing it for love, so thank you.